is there an alliance between Maute and uh, BIFF? Yes, uh, BIFF, uh, particularly the Bungos faction, uh, they both, uh, just like the Maute, they, they both uh, swore uh, allegiance to ISIS sometime in uh, 2015. Mm. So uh, I think that's the connection and the link uh, uh, between the two groups. Yeah, but that's uh, my BIFF to ISIS and then Maute to ISIS. But ISIS, hey, Maute to BIFF, meaning can they coordinate attacks? Oh, yes. Uh, as far as tactical alliance is concerned, uh, that is uh, very possible. And uh, we have seen that in uh, some operations, wherein uh, BIFF fighters are, are uh, sending augmentation mm. to uh, not just Maute, but uh, also other uh, terrorist, local terrorist groups in the country. In this case, sir, how serious of a threat is BIFF? Actually, uh, it's not as serious as uh, the one we're fighting in, uh, in uh, Marawi because BIFF is contained in uh, their stronghold in SPMS box and our troops there is, uh, is doing very well in containing the BIFF. Uh, just like Maute Group, uh, BIFF is also uh, a target of uh, being a local terrorist group. It's also a target of military operations. Uh, a dedicated unit is uh, right now uh, tasked to address this uh, threat. And uh, just like uh, our efforts against the, the Maute Group, we will uh, sustain our operations against the BIFF until they have been decimated. Sinabi ng BIFF na next target nila is si President Duterte following the Pigkawayan incident. And then to Sir Hermoso po, how can it affect yung peace talks din po? Okay, that pronouncement of the BIFF is a desperate pronouncement. Because what happened in Pigkawayan recently was in retaliation of and uh, somehow a diversionary attack uh, mm -hmm. resulting from the setbacks, major setbacks they have been experiencing in their stronghold in uh, Maguindanao, specifically the SPMS box, because uh, our forces there have also intensified operations against the BAFF. Mm -hmm. These are complementary operations to, to our operations in Marawi. So uh, the armed forces is not only operating in Marawi, but uh, we have uh, several operations ongoing uh, all over Mindanao, addressing uh, various uh, terrorist groups, mm -hmm. and one of these is the BAFF. So uh, what happened there is uh, a retaliatory attack, and it's not connected with, uh, with the Marawi operations. Well, as to the effect in the peace process, uh, it, the, the BAFF uh, deprivation yesterday and the other day in Pinkawaya, North Cotabato, has no effect to the ongoing uh, implementation of the agreement with the MILF. It don't. Uh, it, it has no effect to the matter, to the uh, to the ongoing talks because BIFF is not MILF. But how are we? How is the palace taking uh, the threat of BIFF to target the president? Uh, well, we, we first and foremost, you think we need to just go back to the narrative as already expressed by Secretary Aga Abe uh, Asek, uh, Hermoso. The fact that uh, there's actually no ground support for them. Okay. The, the, the local Muslim community, the Manao especially, do not want this. Uh, the, uh, for, for whatever reason that they're dealing with this, whether it's personal interest or what, there is no ground support for them. Even, uh, even reports from the evacuees, they're saying actually that they do not like this. They do not want this. And so uh, it, it goes back to that. I think we need to go back to the fact that really this is an isolated, these are isolated groups that are, that are brilliant at media manipulation. However, uh, they do not have the necessary support coming from the ground itself. You don't think they can carry out any attack on the president? As expressed, as shown, history, uh, based on results, no.